Hello everyone, welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. This is episode 8. And last time we went to the frozen curse of the chilled thief, or chilled thief of the frozen curse, or uh, whatever that place was called. And found another beacon there and cleansed that, and I think that was actually my favorite boss fight so far um, against the Hollow Crow. And when we got back, I think Stoman, that was his name, was um, was missing and left another key for another bell door that I think is somewhere around here in Pilgrim's Perch. So that's convenient because we also have that cave we still need to go back into that we sprinted frantically through a long time ago um, trying to pick up items. But we can probably manage that place a little better now. So we'll try to find that and clear the rest of that out and find where this other place is through the, another bell door. Oh no, we've got an invader. Oh, that's you. No problem. Where's the invader? I don't know. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Everybody's doing a raid in this build. I landed on them with a hammer. <laughs> I had the same idea. <laughs> I don't feel like that guy should be able to fire that little sparkle all the way across the map like he's doing. Yeah, maybe when they said they adjusted it, they meant that they increased it. <laughs> Maybe that pilgrim uh, cave door was a bell door. Oh, you did have to use the pilgrim's perch key to open it. And that is and the. Didn't he leave the key for you? Yeah. When he left? Yeah, it was the same key. So you can just buy it early if you want early access to that harder area. Maybe. That yeah. This is where you're supposed to go in there. This is uh, this is the bell door. Okay, and then I guess we went down here. But you can also walk through the wall there using your lamp. Yeah, and I guess come out onto this upper walkway. Oh yeah, I guess it does take you to the same place. Except last time we were running through here, past everything, rolling constantly, trying to survive long enough to loot stuff. Yep. Good times. Ow. Oh yeah, there's a knight, a really difficult enemy down there. Oh, uh-uh. Oh yeah, I remember... <laughs> I remember running into that room and then running out very quickly as that knight chased me. Yep. Looks like we can get a plunging attack on him, though. Should we? Well... Yeah, sounds good. Well, that was uh, a lot easier than before. <laughs> <laughs> Two plunging attacks. We got him. And then... Up this way was a way out onto some ledge or other that had an item on it, but I don't remember what it was. And then I died once I got out there, so didn't really get a good look around. But if this was a bell door in Pilgrim's Perch, is there another bell door, or is this supposed to lead maybe down that other path that leads to wherever he went oh I forgot I I took my projectile off to use this radiant blade thing 
looks like a bridge. Into another part of the cave. If this loops back around to oh, there's a uh, gremlins in the umbral there. Did you get the uh, item in the umbral at the end of the walkway there? Uh, I don't see anything, so I, I guess so. Oh wait, you said in the umbral? Yeah. At the very end over here. Yep. But there's gremlins. Yes, there are. Oh, well, I have to go all the way in anyway to get it. It is... another umbral eye. There's an item back here. Large duralium shards. Oh, nice. How many? Uh, two, I think. Oh, yeah, then there's... I think I remember sprinting frantically past this guy. don't remember this, so maybe I didn't. Well, against the enemies in this place, I finally feel uh, pretty powerful. try going down here yet? There's a moth wall here. D you missed the, uh... You missed an adventure there. What? <laughs> a spiky bellhead rolled a giant barrel down the stairs at me. Well, the spiky bellheads, um, still hurt a lot. <laughs> wall down here though. Where? I'm standing right up against it. Oh. Yeah, you, you just walked into it. Hmm, well there's a guy kind of standing centered in that altar thing over there. I guess we can see what he's about. Yeah, I do wonder uh, how many people are doing Radiant builds. I mean, it seems like the early part of the game definitely caters to that. Sacred Resonance of Tenacity. He's got a few siphon things. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay, I need to heal. Siphon things are making him impervious to damage and healing fast. Ah. Uh, I 
standing in a heel. <laughs> I'm dead. Hmm. Wow, we do not have a good uh, way to get back here quickly. <laughs> I guess we need to put a seed down somewhere. Oh. It actually says... Revive partner using one Sanguinarix now. Maybe they nerfed the, uh... That little co-op aspect. Have to spend a heal charge now. Maybe even before we go back down that path. Uh... There was that one other way up to the left here. Oops, wrong button. Oh, yeah. That's annoying. I just kept getting stunned, like staggered. Yeah. Is Is that, that gonna make you use a charge of your... Did that not thing? work? Fucking hell. No. Game's buggy. <clears throat> Well, you disappeared. Okay, it worked. Did it use up a charge? Yeah. Seriously? They decided that was like a way to make this better? Apparently so. Oh, never mind. It does just loop around to exactly the same place. So, I'm just gonna put one here. And probably rest. So is this the... I forget where that note said he actually went. Except that the door was in Pilgrim's Perch. I guess maybe this was the door, but... I, I don't... It only makes sense for this to be it, because this used the key that he left. We just happened to buy it early. Yeah. It just doesn't seem like this leads anywhere else, so I'm wondering where we're supposed to go from here. say that, but we died trying to come up into this area, so it does, does lead somewhere. Yep. Actually, I don't want to deal with that guy anymore, so <laughs> I'm just gonna move it up one. <laughs> yeah. I am glad that I'm finally, like, at least in this area, I'm feeling like my character is a little bit more capable, not quite so fragile, and not, uh... Until we got to that boss. Well, yeah, but that was... that was an exception. <laughs> Just need to run into that, uh, central room and siphon the little guy. So I wonder yeah, what's I up here, can... then. Check what's up here first. You still liking that uh, dual wield speedy sword? Uh, there's a place to put a seed right down here, right in front of the moth wall. <laughs> Just on the top of that ladder yeah. that we have the one at the bottom of. Well, I guess it saves you a. Uh, Saves you killing that one enemy. All right. Well, he still hurts. I'm wait for him to shoot, and then. Okay, the button is not showing up. Maybe he had to be dead. There we go. Yep, uses a charge now. A 
check the subreddit. People must be upset about that. Seems like a step in the wrong direction. Oh, here's a way out. Oh, enemy's still near. that uh, I like a lot of the move sets for just being able to do dodges and dashes and light and heavies and kind of string them together. It's a lot of cool flow of uh, those animations. Yeah, I think that weapon you're using is really good for some of these tankier guys because it tends to stagger them and that sort of thing and these little lightsabers absolutely don't right yeah, this that was is, a this weapon is something out here there's a grand sword here called bloody glory that's a strength rating its weapon oh i was reading about that one actually online that one is supposed oh, yeah? to be pretty good i think interesting i almost i'm only two radiance away from being able to use it and it's actually uh the the scaling leans more towards radiance than strength. There was, uh, I'm like 75% sure it was this one that I was looking at, but there was one that looked like the Moonlight Greatsword, except it was like golden radiance light instead of the blue oh. light. Well, we gotta find that. Well, I'm pretty Is sure it, it was this one. Bloody Glory? Right? Yeah. Interesting. Because it does 300 bleed with every swing. <laughs> it's not what I would picture for uh, a super bloody sword, but it would be cool if it is. And I'm pretty close to being able to put it on. Well, you said it was strength radiance and leans yeah. more towards radiance. Yeah. But I could be combining two different things that I read about. But oh. anyway, right. bloody glory is a good one, I think. At any rate. The problem with these lightsabers is that it's all radiant damage, so if anything is resistant to that, it's harder to kill it. That's true. I know there was something, though, in... There's something I never quite understood that people talked about in, like, FromSoft games, about divided damage being worse than a weapon that does all one type of damage. I don't quite right. remember why that is yeah um, but something right, about right. something about this either the scaling or the mitigation if the damage type is split um, technically right. is not as good yeah, that's true I just don't know how <laughs> oh vestige here it's hard to tell if this item is a trap it's not it's two more large derailium shards I'm hearing those fen swampy noises, but where is this? Oh, Dark Crusader's Convalescence is a ring. Oh, I don't need the Glacier Ring anymore. Gain a period of regenerating health upon using the Sanguinarix. That's probably good. Try that out. So okay. should we go back and try and beat that boss, I guess? Yeah, I guess now that we found a um, vestige out here. And we have the seed inside. Okay. So we rush the uh, siphony thing in the middle, I guess. Uh, and then hopefully it gets a lot easier. Oh, I forgot to buff up. Thankfully, it looks like they don't actually aggro until I get closer. Oh, you 
go. Yeah, got one down. Hmm, there's a lot in here. I'm uh, cleaning these up. Oh. I should have rested so I have the full all my heals from the Sanguinaris. All right, the thingy is gone. My vigor is back. Uh, is there... Oh, there's another thing right on him. Got it. I do like the um, stagger of this big weapon. Oh, that's a uh, quite a buff. Hey, could you not just spam your attack, <laughs> my dude? That is. Can I get that weapon? <laughs> To get his yeah. weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred resonance hammer. Hey, that actually is the corresponding weapon for the bell set. Because that's the sacred resonance um, armor. Nice. But the You're hammer is uh, the hammer is actually strength agility. So I think it was uh, it was some spell he was using, not the hammer itself. Yeah. Oh well. Well, we got him. We got him. What's out here? Stopping to look at every little item now. Make sure it isn't pulsing. Oh, I know. More Getting large Dorelium shards. One of those. Oh, really? That's awesome. Getting grabbed by one of those moths just fills me with rage. <laughs> I guess we haven't gone this way before out here. Yeah, I'm just checking the top of these stairs. There's a door up here that uses the Pilgrim's Perch Key. And it's a room with a chest. Oh. A deer's hardiness. Looks like a spell. Hmm. Okay. Uh, a shout sorcery uh, increases your defense and resistances, and it's an inferno thing. Need to rest. I have zero heals. But I've got enough for two level ups, which is enough to get the two radiance I need. So I guess I can try out this. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Bloody glory. That is a thorny boy. 
Okay, that's that's <laughs> not the one I thought it was, but that is supposed to be a good weapon. I remember seeing that one. Yeah, 300 seems like a nice big number for bleed procs. Oh, which yeah. I'm assuming bleed is just like... I'm assuming it's the same where it's just a chunk of extra damage suddenly. I need to look up which one is the one that looks like the holy moonlight greatsword. Oh yeah. I would probably just screw whatever is actually the best and use that for appearance purposes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got 54 of the small ones, so that should be enough. <laughs> and 19 of the big ones. I would think this would have to meet up with some of the areas we've been to already at some point. Can this be a completely different thing? Hmm. Quite satisfying after the number of times that those spiky bellheads have bonked me off of ledges. What's up here? You see anything in that house? Uh, it leads into a tunnel. Hmm. There's a shortcut, you, a ladder you can knock down here. I'm not sure where this goes to. Uh, okay. Might as well take care of that. Oh, I have a chest in here too. I have a spiky bellhead after me. So those things have tracking? They seem to have a little bit. Oh. Small, regular, and large derelium. Uh, what was next? Yeah, I wonder if some of these shortcuts are really meant for the later New Game Plus stuff where you don't have all the vestiges to go to. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I was reading they take away, I think, 9 and NG plus 1, and then... <laughs> My jump just didn't work. And <laughs> I pushed jump and nothing happened, and I just ran off the edge. That's happened to me once or twice, too. <laughs> <laughs> Keep using those heels. <laughs> I've got three left. And then in NG plus two, they take away 14. And then in plus three, there's none except for Skyrest and Adir's uh, something. Right. There was another um, spiky bell head pushing a barrel down these stairs, too. They seem to like that trick. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> yep, I dodged it. <laughs> I thought I had, and then it, like... I don't know. I guess I didn't. <laughs> oh, there's a... Uh, there's some enemies up here. On my way. Oh, no. I, I'm just 
constantly staggered by these arrows. And then this guy's invincible. I hate I hate this siphon off the parasite mechanic. I'm not entirely sure, like, when you get their ghost out like that, you just attack the ghost to do wither damage to the thing, right? Yeah. But if you just attack the thing directly, wouldn't that be even better than just doing wither damage to it? I think it does more wither damage than it would if you just attacked it directly. I don't know. Or maybe they just didn't think it through. It's possible. Hmm. Room or elevator? Oh, there's an enemy here. Let's do room first. Oh. That was just another one of those guys. Yeah, he looked scary, so I didn't <laughs> take any chances. Blood letter. So how long has that guy been just standing here in this puddle of water <laughs> in this room behind this closed door with his sword held up? <laughs> just waiting. Yeah, I always like coming across NPCs that look like as soon as they heard you coming, they like stood up and assumed whatever dramatic pose they had and looked like they had been holding it for the past, you yes. know, 50 years or however long it took you. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was sitting down over here by the candles doing a crossword puzzle yeah. until he heard us outside. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I gotta go stand in that puddle. I really like in these fantasy games when the elevators are operated by a pressure plate on the floor for no reason and no apparent basis for working that way. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So this is a new area, but so is that other... I guess that other area out the... That was like a canyon or something where the other vestige was. I guess that's a different area too. Yeah. It seems like it's starting to open up more. Yeah, I like that we have um, options for where to go. Like it's not just a linear path. At the same time, it's not completely open world like Elden Ring where you don't know which way to go because it's just a sandbox. Kind of yeah, like the it's a bit I, more like Dark Souls One, I guess. I like the balance of having options for which way to go, but still having some structure to those ways. Nice view. Well, I guess. Uh, oh, there's an item on this shrine. It's a holy ward, times three. Oh, there's a vestige up here. Yep, I activated it. Oh. Ferrers the Chard. Well, I don't really know, because we found both of them by going through Pilgrim's Perch. So, which one would Stomond have gone to? I don't know. But we're here, might as well see what's here. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got him already. I yeah, like, hey, uh... you missed it. Like, I leapt down and knocked both of them over at once and, like, 
dramatically hack them to death, finish them off, and then you sort of plink down next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the sound of that, the sound of that, like, light sword or whatever hitting the ground, just... Oh. Well, There's a guy. Yeah, I think we need to cross over. Yeah. Another nice thing is the initial swing is. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. I thought it was an overhead swing, which I was going to say was really nice for areas where a sweepy horizontal thing is just going to get stuck on walls and stuff. Where did that even come from? This is um, probably a shortcut. Oh, this is, yeah, this is that portcullis that we just couldn't. Yeah, here we go. Cool. Not sure. Oh no, I'm sure that's an enemy. Huh, I'm not sure if bleed is just a chunk of one time damage. I don't think it is. I think it's damage over time. A map Spike of Mance it. of the Hallowed Brothers. Might in this is kind of the same thing that Bleed was in Elden Ring. Yeah. Okay. We're uh, looking for a bell and an archway and then a statue and then another statue and then a large gate and then a large tower. Ooh. for all of those things. Uh, it's a flower door. Uh, goes back over here. Oh, how'd you even get up there? Oh, the stairs. One swing did 48 damage, and then the next one did 413. I wonder if that had to do with the bleed, or if that was just like a critical or something. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. It may be actually that the bleed proc does a lot of initial damage and then, I don't know, maybe it weakens them somehow. It visually had this like bloody uh, effect around them after doing it, so it seemed like it would be an ongoing effect. Right. I just don't know why this weapon would do 48 damage and then almost 10 times as much. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, There's this could be, could be the bell in the picture.
so we've got up these stairs, and I guess that's it, actually. Yeah, I think so. Oh, these archers are so annoying. Ooh, there's... Never mind, I thought there were two. But I think it was just... He's casting a claw. Wow. Uh, I don't know what was regenerating a small amount of my health. But after I died, my health started going back up. Eh. And then I died anyway. Yeah, that room was a death trap. Must mean there's good loot in there. Poor guys. <laughs> Their role in life is simple. Yeah, it seems to reliably happen on the second swing that it just suddenly deals massively more. Well, that way is open, and actually it leads back up around to... Actually, I'm not sure how... It looks like it should lead back to that upper area that we were anyway. But I guess we should just go the way we did before and try to clear out that room. Was it up here? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. If you catch them at the right time, you just actually send them flying. Okay. In here. Archers on the sides and everything. Damn, I missed <laughs> completely. I missed again. No I'm gonna fair, stop. I'm, stuck. I'm gonna stop trying <laughs> to use that spell. Oh, he's doing that Pieta thing. Yeah, he is. But Pieta's is better because she summons two of them. open this door, but there's uh, something that seems to want to kill us as soon as we do. Yeah, it's alright. Maybe he just wants to talk. Smite cure...
Yeah. I'm gonna have to maybe look up how bleed actually works, because I don't understand the numbers that my weapon is putting up. Bleed, cure... down here. Oh, there's another way up over there. So I guess we try this one first. See if this door opens. Does not from this side. Maybe this is the main way then, and that flower door was the optional side path. Could be. Because this sure looks like it leads to a completely new area. I need the manse kitchen key. something. Oh, that was the man's kitchen key. Yeah. He was guarding the kitchen. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe that item over there is good, though. This Almost one does not open from this one. side. No, this isn't an item, it just works there. say it was just a couple of wither salts, but there's actually a doorway out here. Ooh, with a... oh, never mind. It's not a reaper. Yeah, this way keeps going. Well, it can also go up this way. Oh, moth lady. Look, you men! At the wickedness which can take root within the walls of our own house, if we falter in our vigilance, our rigorous, or even the briefest moment, see how malevolence and greed and weakness and twisted hold of those who once wore a solemn force. She's got a lot of health. Or my weapon doesn't do much. What will be the fate of all traitors who submit to sin? Ah. Yikes. So we can go up these stairs, or... Oh, this just leads to an item. A Q 
infusing spirit. Is that... What is that? It's not a spell or ammunition. Oh, wait. It's ammunition. You throw it. It's a head, and you throw it, and it shatters, that, and it unleashes a curse. That's interesting. Decreases the enemy's damage while increasing the damage they receive. Interesting. And then there's... Uh, this thing over here. Way to a, re <coughs> a reaper. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to find an exit. I hate these things. The way, they, the way they laugh at you. Here's a way out. Are there any umbral, any more umbral things in here? There is an item down there, but I don't see a way back up if we jump down. So, a lot of enemies. Uh, I'm actually out of mana things. Plunging attack on the bellhead, probably. Wow, that barely did anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an impressive looking weapon buff. that makes such a dramatic sound when that one died? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I thought that was the door that we couldn't open from the other side, but I think that's a totally new room. It's a maze. It is. It seems like we're just finding more and more areas that we could go to. Yeah. Uh, well, this. Oh, never mind. We have to cross over for that. Oh, wait, this is. This is where we uh, needed to get to the other side somehow. We already did. It's just, I guess maybe we missed that there was an umbral thing up here. Unless, oh, wait a second. 
No, that is the same area. I'm just, just confused because I see an item dropped over there. And also, can you shoot down that uh, corpse? Where does that leave? Yeah, could get this thing. This one has uh, purple swirlies around its head. I'm not sure I've seen that before. It's an antediluvian chisel. I don't remember if we needed two for the next one. Next lamp upgrade. I don't know, I haven't found any yet in my game. Oh. Oh, there's corpses stapled to the wall. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I guess we're going up, so we should see what's in here first. Enhanced Empyrean Grenade. Some enemies up here. I like the combat feeling very visceral and kind of cinematic at times. It seems like they did a good job with that. Another door that opens from the other side. There's a tiny little ladder. I wonder if there is an intended order to do these areas in. Hmm, also doesn't open from this side. There's an umbral exit over there and a vestige flower bed here. Maybe we should put a thing down. It's been a while. Yeah. We got company. Oh. Where did he come from? Hey, I was blocking when you did that. <laughs> yeah, I guess grabs don't care about blocks. And apparently he has iframes while he's doing a grab animation. Well, let's rest here then. I've got no heals left. Hmm. Round that out at 30. And give another two radiance. Oh. 
gonna try to actually get parries. Because I've kind of been ignoring that for the most part. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> so, I don't think... Is that a place we've already been? Just a one-way shortcut back? Or, I don't know. Something's a little wrong with the people around here. What's that? I said something's a little wrong with the people around here. Yeah, I mean, not as wrong as, like, Dark Souls 3, but still, not great. I guess that uh, flower door at the very beginning before we even came in here was an optional side thing. Should go back sometime. I actually don't even remember what that was that you're talking about. Yeah, and I don't remember if there was even... Oh no, there was an actual vestige by it. I have found a lot of doors that all open from the other side. <laughs> yeah, where is this other side? <laughs> nice, got one. Hey look, oh, it's Scabarus. <laughs> Yep, felt about the same level of difficulty. Yep. <laughs> oh, radiant arrows. Hey, this one opens too. Uh, is this the place we've been before? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, there's that, um, the big tower on the map is where the beacon is. <laughs> oh, this guy has a siphon. Does not open from this side. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's not just the pulsing. I think they actually changed it to make it more obvious. Because I don't think it had this, like... This one has, uh, the, like, the trail on the item that goes up. It's all fluttery and moving around a lot. I think they probably decided to make it more obvious. It seemed like it was obvious enough before. Well, well there's a chest right here and a moth wall. I kept falling for it. <laughs> oh, so did I, yeah. <laughs> but if you stop to look at it, it seemed like you'd be able to tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a door here. I'm gonna see if this... Okay, no, I need the Abbot Vernoff's key for that one. I wonder if he's the boss up there. 
Probably. And then this door. I'll also Abbot Vernoff's key. And you said there's a treasure chest around here? Yep. Ah. And a umbral ladder. <laughs> Does not open from this side. I'm just exploring, uh, oh, I pushed a ladder down. That's safe. Where did you say the uh, chest was? So we could put a seed right there in front of the boss. Are you running out of seeds? Uh, I don't know. Now when I pull up the menu, it doesn't actually show me. Oh, we might as well rest real quick here then. Sorry, where was the chest? Is that where the moth wall is? Yep. Oh. Then, real quick. I'm gonna see what's up this umbral ladder. Oh, really? Yep. I didn't even see... I mean, I see his name now, but I didn't actually uh, see any warning come up. It was very quick. Hmm. Oh, he's up here. Coming. I'm assuming it's like normal where uh, the world's enemies won't attack him. Probably. Oh, I think he's got that sword I was talking about. <laughs> Easy. Haven't lost a single fight against invaders. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. I like this phase of these ki types of games where nobody is good enough yet to have figured out like the super sweaty, broken, you know, strategies for ruining people's day. Yeah. <laughs> oh geez, there's so many paths. I'm getting. I'm losing track. Yeah. And we still got that boss and the chest there. Oops. Wrong thing. I keep not being on the right ranged, like, lamp versus spell thing. Oh, I know. I'm not a fan of it. 
I think it was just this way and then back to the boss wall. Yeah, this way just keeps going though. There's another chest up here. Ooh, wow. those little gremlins and the way they don't die. <laughs> now I'm out of mana. I have to get mana back so that I can cast a heal. So much for that. This platform up here was a death trap. It was. I was already low on health, uh, Sanguinarix and mana. Me too. I think we should just try that boss. Yeah, we can come up here after, later. And it's probably coming up on a good stopping point anyway. Yeah. Okay. This. And this. Ow, damn it. Ow. Okay. Boss time. Oh, lots of bosses. I bet we're going to have to fight the rest of them, too. Definitely possible. I think that was a phase one. Nope, never mind. Luminous Abiding Defender Sword. Huh. I got, you got something called Luminous Abiding Defender Sword? Yeah. I got something called Ebon Light Abiding Defender Sword. Because we each killed a different one of the bosses, maybe? I mean, I guess we happened to focus on different ones. I mean, it's kind of cool if that's actually how it works. <laughs> I don't know. Mine does yeah. physical and wither damage. Uh, mine is physical and holy. This is a strength and radiance weapon. I'll drop it for you. Yeah, this is also strength and radiance, but I wonder why we each got a different one. An abiding defender sword radiating an ethereal glow. Uh, it does bleed build up like your current sword, so I don't know if it's any better, but as we'll take a look. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
They both have C minus and, and C minus scaling. Uh, but the luminous has 250 bleed and the ebon light has 125 bleed and 125, uh, I guess it's wither. Interesting. Is the wither status, is there a wither status that's different from wither damage? Or is there a different status sure. that's the same color? I don't mm. know of any other status except for smite and bleed, I guess. Yeah, it looks like there's two different flamey type oh, ones. Yeah. Oh, I guess, yeah, there's there's poison, and then there are two. Isn't there burn and ignite for the flame? Something like that, yeah. What does the sword look like? Oh, I can't equip it. I'm one strength short. <laughs> uh. The flail of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that such a goofy name <laughs> <laughs> it's very goofy the flail of wisdom is a statue of a head on a flail it, it's a head on a flail <laughs> i guess it does actually let you equip it even if it's not uh if you, even if you can't use it properly oh, so nice Gonna so dual wheel great swords <laughs> <laughs> looks cool yeah uh the weight is each one individually is heavier than the one I was using. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you can't dual wield them, I guess. I mean, it looks badass. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, that will do it for this episode of Lords of the Fallen. I'm liking this manse area, and I'm liking the fact that we have so many options. Um, like I said, I think it's a good balance between um, like the complete open world sandbox of Elden Ring and maybe the little bit too much on rails feeling. Uh, so I'm really liking the layout of this game so far. So there is plenty to do next time. Looking forward to it. Hope you'll join us. Have a good one.